There are lots of different ways that you can structure clubs within your program. You just want to make sure it meets the needs of the children, educators, families, and community. Here are three examples of successful programs that have implemented clubs and they'll share their experiences. Knowing our children, we all like different things. And so our workshops just give us that opportunity to pick something we just really, 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 really like. We started our clubs, um, our older school agers, uh, had a lot of difficulty and um, just wanted more interest. They were always quote unquote bored. Um, so this was one of the solutions that us teachers came up with was starting a clubs. What inspired the club program in our curriculum I think was the vast needs and interests of the children, um, the parent requests and the educators wanting to meet all of those. We have a sports club, and that's on Monday mornings, and a spa and, med and relaxation club on Wednesdays, and that is child-led. Because we are FlexiCare, we wanted to um, give the opportunity to, to everyone. So we would run one of the clubs in the morning on one day, and then again in the afternoon on another day. And that way it gave the children who were either here in the morning or here in the afternoon the opportunity to participate in the program. So we do them on full days. The children get to sign up on a Monday for a workshop that they're interested in to do it on the Tuesday. There are certain workshops that are only for the older ones or only for the younger ones. Uh, during the summertime, uh, we do them every week. March break, we do one as well. All the clubs were signed up in advance, including the Chill Club. That being said, if children during that day when it came up needed to be in a different club, um, for whatever reason, energy, want, peers, um, we left room for that change to be made. We designed uh, a sign-up sheet for each of the clubs, which states the date, the location, the time, um, and a week before it, uh, the, the club starts, um, two children go to each program and they ask for any interest. We presented them like uh, with a paper and asked them to come up with ideas and from there um, things just blossomed. Along with their interests, we also asked staff what their interests were. Um, some of our staff were um, gymnastic coaches, one was an art major, um, one uh, participates in yoga every week, so we just asked them if they could bring their talents and their interests into the, uh, the clubs. The benefit of having interest clubs and workshops within a program is that educators get to delve into their own passion and be able to share it with the children within their program. We have had sports club, we've had gym game club, and that was child-led. We had art club, we had yoga club, we had uh, gymnastics club, we had baking club. It could be baking, it can be sports, uh, it can be artwork, it can be a creative. A couple of our older girls were very much interested in in the spa and relaxation, so they brought the idea to us. There's two girls that run it. One does um, kind of little mini massages, and the other one does breathing techniques, yoga poses, and kind of Reiki um, chakra techniques. It runs really well when the children lead it. Space, sometimes uh, the school needs the gym or the library or the classrooms for parent-teacher interviews or something like that, so we um, try to problem solve uh, in the moment, so we take advantage of outside or any space that we can utilize, hallways if need be. <laughs> they only have about half an hour to do programming, it, it's challenging. We are a team and we support each other. 
we look for the skill level of the child and what they can do. We also will have children that want to help. The needs of the children um, were met because they were given choices. They were given um, free flow if necessary and the clubs were initially developed out of Q&A's recommendations, observations from the children of what clubs they would like. I say go for it. Go for the clubs. It is such an amazing um, way for the children to participate. I know with our clubs, um, the kids are like begging and pleading just to participate. Like, and we have parents contacting us asking when the clubs are being held so that they can make sure that their child is here on time and ready to go. And even when we document and post it up on the walls, the kids in the school see what the, the children in the program are doing and they want to participate. In summary, there are a lot of different structures of creating clubs within your program, but there are five main pieces to consider. First, determine who will participate. Secondly, determine the topic and clearly defined objective of the club or clubs. Determine who will lead the club. It could be a child, it can be an educator, it could be a parent. Plan the schedule. What schedule will work for your program? Plan the club activities. What, where, and when? What materials will you need and equipment required? Most importantly, make sure that everybody involved has fun. For more information, please visit our website at cissnewsletter.ca.